Hello Cravers, it's another day, it's another Craving Adventures. Hello Craver, it's me again, your Nurse Craves, and we are here for another Craving Adventures. For today's video, we are going to Macau. On our second day of our trip, we embark on an exciting day trip to Macau. We started with a quick breakfast at McDonald's before catching a taxi from Chimchachui to Ferry Terminal. Our taxi driver was particularly friendly, making the journey even more pleasant. At the port, we purchased turbojet tickets for the single journey, costing 175 HKD, approximately 1,290 Philippine Peso each. After purchasing our boat tickets, we proceeded to immigration. The process was smooth and efficient, making for a pleasant experience. Thank you. One hour to moms. Our turbojet ride was enjoyable and comfortable, enhancing our overall experience. Despite not being at full capacity, the boat departed for Macau on schedule. The journey took approximately one hour. Upon arriving at the port of Macau, we found the immigration process to be smooth and efficient. Once through, we stepped out to explore Macau. We were approached by a friendly Filipino offering a short guided tour of the city. Ang ruins of Saint Paul po ay during the fire, only the Kasach makes. So, if you are Catholics, this place is so amazing kasi kahit yung mga buto ng pare, yung mga na-save nilang gamit ng ruins, na-preserve nila sa likod. So, this is a UNESCO site. And then, ang Ama Temple, ang existence po ng Macau ay nanggaling dito. Dito nagsimula ang Macau 1400s. Ang Macau po ay colonized by the Portuguese. Natagpuan ng Portuguese itong Macau dito sa temple na ito. It's a small temple pero ngayon ma malaking temple na equivalent to four-story building. So this is a Buddhist temple. Kanina po ito ay Catholic. Uh, ito po ay Buddhist temple. Next cultural heritage sites ang Senado Square. The very famous Senado Square. Uh, ito 99.9% ang structure po nito. Very, very Portuguese very very Portuguese po ito at uh, parang parang wala ka sa Asia, parang wala ka sa Macau so andyan ang Senate andyan ang uh, office ng malaking tourism, andyan ang post office next, ang Macau po ay uh, colonized by the Portuguese, kaya ka ang Catholicism ay didala ng Portuguese ito ang kauna-unahan church na tinayo ng Portuguese ang St. Dominic Church and this is the Venetian this is the Macau Tower, the highest budget jumping of the world, ito po ay observation desk yan na makikita mo ng bird's eye view yung buong Macau Peninsula, China part, and yung Taipa Island. Tingnan nyo po, ito lang yung mga building. Tingnan nyo kung gano'n siya kataas. And then, ang Senado Square, ang kunyam statue is the goddess of the sea. Ang Ama Temple, all the way to ruins of St. Paul. This is the very unique design ng building dito. Ito po ang uh, Grand Lisboa, look like Lotus Flower. Macau is by night. Napaka, napakaganda niya by night. And then, ang Macau Fisherman's Wharf, Ito po yung miniature of different places in the world. Macau Science Center. Ito na po yung pinaka-highest peak sa Macau, ang Peña Church. Ang Peña Church po ay uh, makikit, kung hindi kayo aakyat sa Macau Tower, ka-elevate niya ang Macau Tower. Pero dadaan ka sa Governor's House, uphill, pinaka-mataas na. And then all the way to Ama, Senado Square. And then the last part ay ang Venetia. So uh, our tour cover po noon ang 4 hours. 4 hours day tour dito po sa Macau Peninsula. After some discussion, my friends and I decided to accept his offer as we were unfamiliar with Macau's transportation system and wanted to maximize our time in our tour. Our tour car was both nice and comfortable, setting a great tone of a day ahead. Our first stop was Fisherman's Wharf. Fisherman's Wharf a free attraction located on the waterfront of the outer harbor, conveniently near the Macau Ferry Terminal and Sands Macau Casino. This vibrant area features a variety of stores and restaurants, as well as three hotels and convention centers. 
offering a lively mix of entertainment and amenities. Hello, my love, people, my boy. Next, we visited Macau Tower, one of the most iconic landmarks of Macau skyline. The tower provides breathtaking panoramic views of the city and making it an unforgettable highlight of our tours. We are on our way on the next destination. Our next stop was Chapel of Lady of Peña, a historic site that once served as a pilgrimage point of sailors embarking on hazardous voyage. This charming chapel stands as testament to faith and hopes of those seafarers, adding a touch of historical significance to our tour. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Our tour continued with a visit to Ama Temple. Ama Temple is dedicated to Chinese sea goddess Mazu. This ancient temple, which predates the city of Macau itself, is a spiritual haven for Buddhists and a testament to the city's rich culture heritage. The temple's intricate architecture and sirens atmosphere offered as a glimpse into Macau's deep-rooted traditions and history. along the way na naglalakad ka dito kasi dito na yung mga katikim yung maliliit na ano yung mga parang 3 days 3 days Our next destination was St. Dominic Church, a significant cathedral parish within the Roman Catholic Diocese of Macau located near the Leal Senado building This beautiful church is known as its stunning Baroque architecture and historical importance. Its vibrant facade and serene interior provided a peaceful respite and fascinating glimpse into Macau's local past. Then visited Senado Square, one of Macau's premier tourist destinations. The square is picturesque tiled flooring, central fountain and surrounding colonial buildings evoke the charm of Portugal and Europe. Transporting visitors to another continent, this vibrant plaza is perfect blend of Macau's rich history and cultural influences. 
after that quick time of tour, we buy pasalubong. Alam nyo na, Filipino, mahilig tayo sa pasalubong. And this is the store na recommended ng driver po namin, the tourist guide. And kung gusto nyo pong ma-check itong store na to, pwede nyo rin po siyang i-book as a tour guide. Mga ma'am sir, mga cravers, and yeah, you can enjoy Macau without worry, sad car, and time. Our journey culminated with a visit to ruins of St. Paul's, an iconic symbol of Macau's rich history. These ruins, dating back to the 7th century, stand as poignant reminder of once magnificent Catholic religious complex. Once part of St. Paul's Church, the grand facade in all remains after the devastating fire. Today, it stands proudly as one of Macau's most recognizable landmarks. Attracting visitors around the world, the marvel at its beauty and historical significance. The Museum of Macau, the treasure of trove of the city's vibrant history of cultural heritage. Located within the Montefort, this museum offers visitors a fascinating journey through Macau's past showcasing its unique blend of Eastern and Western influences. From the ancient artifacts of colonial relics, the museum provides insight into the city's revolution over the centuries. With interactive exhibits and informative displays, it's a mass visit destination for anyone eager to delve deeper into Macau's rich tapestry of his stories and traditions. Hey Cravers, please subscribe, share, like, and comment down below if you have any questions with regards to our trip. Comment na din ng hashtag satisfied if you like this video. Thank you so much Cravers. Our adventure concluded with a visit to the Venetian Macau, a luxurious resort and casino that epitomized grandeur and opulence. Inspired by the famed Italian city of Venice, these sprawling complex booths tanning replicas of Venice and iconic landmarks, including St. Mark's Square and Grand Canal. With its lavish accommodation, worldwide class entertainment, and endless shopping and dining options. The Venetian offers guests an unforgettable experience of luxury and indulgence in heart of Macau.
the return journey to Hong Kong from Macau via bus proved to be a bit exhausting compared to turbojet ride where you simply sit back and relax. The bus ride required passengers to disembark and rush to immigration. It took about 15 minutes each time. Additionally, the bus trip involves two separate immigration processes. In overall, Macau was delightful and seamless. And for our third day, see you on the next one. Thank you, Cravers! Thank you.